you, you look you come in limping a little bit. How you got some? I did not hurt my hip in the first round, and I was just trying to cruise through the rest of the rounds. It's got to be a little tough to, to sustain something right from the get go, and then kind of have to keep working through. How'd you kind of push yourself through it? Just mentally, you know, most fighters are mentally tough, so. I felt the pain like in the first round going into my corners, but I feel good. So that pretty much changed the, the, the fight, yeah. scope of the fight. Yeah, I was feeling pain like when we started grabbing each other and like I would move and I would feel my hip hurting, but I'm fine. How is Freddie compared to what you thought he'd bring you in the cage? You predicted beforehand this guy isn't getting out of the second round. Yeah, he was tough. I think uh, I think I was just, uh, after my hip was hurting, I was just trying to cruise, like I said. But uh, Freddie was a little tougher than I expected. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that was awesome. It was nice to like live, uh, go to sleep in your own bed and uh, having Sacramento get my first win, my first UFC win in Sacramento. That was a blessing, and thank the UFC for that. But it was nice having Cody cornering me basically, and I was listening. First time you done that. Yeah, yeah, first time. I mean, I never had get to. I fought my last fight in Atlanta, and I was all by myself. So it was nice to have my team surrounded me, mm -hmm. and we're only ten blocks away from this arena. Now, with Faber having, you know, been there and building this team, Alpha Male. I mean, being his last fight in Malibu, like, what does that mean to you? It's a. Um, it's kind of sad, you know, to see him retire, but you know, it's another chapter in his life. And uh, I've been with Uriah for, I think, nine years at the Ultimate Fitness, I mean, Team Alpha Male. And uh, for me, it was always a dream to fight alongside him. And now I finally got the chance to fight alongside him in Sacramento for his final fight. So it was good. Did you uh, get any respect for, for Freddie tonight? Uh, yeah, gave him some respect. I didn't, uh, yeah, he was good. <laughs> just a little? Yeah, just a little. We're fighters. We're fighting each other, so there was no respect in there during that time, but it was good. You think you set the tone for the rest of the uh, Team Alpha Male tonight? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I set it off. You know, I told him I was going to set it off with a W, so now we got three more guys to go, and uh, hopefully we go 4-0 in Sacramento. Were, you, were any of your teammates in the, the same locker room with you? Uh, Josh Emmett was in the locker room, and then Paige Van Zandt was right next to me. So, yeah, I didn't get to see Favor yet, but I did see Paige. You guys kind of keeping your spirits up back there while you guys are getting ready? Oh, yeah. Getting you pumped up? Oh, yeah. I mean, think, like, to be fighting for the UFC and then, like, having all my team there, it was it was awesome. It was a great experience. What was this whole week like? Um, you know, the UFC, it's not often that you get a home fight like other sports. So what was the atmosphere like at the gym all week? The energy was all the way high. Like, I would wake up in the morning instead of, like, sleeping in. I would drop my kids off and go straight to the gym and watch everybody else train. So that was cool. So who do you want next? Uh, it don't matter whoever the UFC wants me to uh, fight. I'm not here trying to pick or choose anyone, but I do want to get to the top 10 in the world by the middle of next year. Did you learn anything from any uh, your first experience versus this one? Like yeah, I think I just said, I think my last fight, I was just too aggressive and I learned just to be, to settle down a little bit. I got too anxious to try to knock out Wilson and um, it didn't go out my way, so. This time, this time around, I was ready to go. I was focused on what I had to do and just relax a little bit. I had to make sure I tell my corners to remind me to relax because I get too too excited in there when I'm fighting. When you get too excited, what, what happens? You just get tired? No, I don't get tired. I just I go 0 to 100 real quick. And that, can be, that can be a negative. That could be a bad thing. Yes, it could be a bad thing. So that's what ha that's what happened to me when I caught Wilson. I caught him with a good punch, and and I just tried to, try to finish him instead of knowing that I was fighting a veteran.